and Brad, the two most famous physical therapists on the internet. There we go. Hi, folks. I'm Bob Shaw, physical therapist. Brad Heine, physical therapist. Because we're the most famous physical therapists on the internet. And our opinion, of course, Bob. The squat. It's the ideal exercise to big leg to build leg muscles. <laughs> I've given one task and I yeah, screwed up the There you Brad. go, Bob. But yeah, it is a wonderful overall uh, exercise, as many people know. But we're going to go through it in detail. By the way, if you're new to our channel, please take a second to subscribe to us. We provide videos on how to stay healthy, fit, pain-free, and we upload every day. Also, yes, you want to join us on our social media channels and our website, bobandbrad.com, because we're always giving something away. What are we giving away, Brad? The Sleep Ovation Mattress. You're still not doing it quite right. The Sleep Ovation Mattress. So... This is a really cool thing. This yeah, is just is. a little sample of it. Right. It's got 700 tiny little mattresses. Very comfortable. If you're having pain when you sleep, this is your baby. It is. This is and so you go to bobandbrad.com. Go to the giveaway section. You can sign up. You can also go to Facebook, Bob and Brad. It'll be pinned at the top of the page. Mm -hmm. If you want a shorter version of Bob and Brad, and you're tired of these long, rambling versions, go to Twitter and go to Instagram. We got a shortened version there every day. There you go. So we can move this out of the way, Brad, and you can start talking about doing quad strengthening. Right. So if we're talking about uh, not just quads, that's the beauty of squats, Bob. You know, we're working a lot of quads, large muscle groups, hip muscles, glutes, hamstrings are getting involved. And, you know, I do want to mention we're going to do a little bit of balance involved, which may sure. be of interest to some people because you need strong legs, hips for balance, as well as the actual balance. It's up. hard to imagine that there's not a person in this world that couldn't benefit from the squats to some extent, unless right. you're, you know, disabled or something. But I mean, in all seriousness, it's it's such an important functional move. Right. From the the bodybuilder, the weightlifter, to the person who who needs to get out of a chair more easily. Right. For whatever reason. Exactly. Mm -hmm. And like you said, it's going to help their balance overall. So if you do them properly, they're going to get that leg strength. But there are some things that if you don't do properly, you're going to uh, damage your knees. Back. You know, back. So we're yeah. going to go over that. Shall All we right. go on? Let's go on. The basics. All right. Now, if you're just starting, we're going to do it without any weights. And we're going to go through the body mechanics. You may need a chair or something solid to hold on to for your balance. If you don't, that's fine. Just you might even have a chair side. in front of you and a chair behind you in right. case you, you know, if you're worried about losing your balance. Right. And this is probably more for if you're injured or if you're a senior and sure. you're having a hard time getting out of a chair and you want to get better at that. You don't want to practice these and end up falling on the floor. Right. Okay. So first thing we're going to do, shoulder or the feet are shoulder width wide. Don't get too wide and certainly don't get too narrow. I have a lot of people that'll start doing them like this. Take that step out, get wide, and shoulder width wide. And then the next thing, good posture. Chin in, shoulders back, okay? And we're gonna start to squat down. Now you can see with me, I'm gonna see a common mistake is this. The knees will go in commonly, and that puts a lot of stress on the knees. It can damage your knees. So make sure your knees are over your toes, okay? So that's in this angle. Now, Bob, if you look at him. You have the booyah stick? Oh, look at that. It just showed up. I wanted and you wanted to do it. Look how yeah. you don't cry, baby, there. Yeah. So, yeah, if you're going to do it wrong this way, you're going to go down like this, and the knee's going to actually pass the plumb line right, going to the right. toe. You want to do it so that you actually are going to keep the knee behind the plumb line. Right. And that and takes it, a little bit of practice. It does take a little practice. And you got to actually, you're leaning back a little more. Yep. You're actually getting more weight onto the butt right. than you are onto the quad. Then. So, you know, I have a woman right now, she's 61 years old, and we're working on these exact same mechanics. Um, and she was having some problems with this. And after the second visit, she practiced them, and she's getting better already. So. Yeah, and you may want to start off with a shallow squat. Right. To, 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 you can probably maybe go down this far, but as soon as you go, start going down further, you, you might break the rule. Right. And, and so you want to make sure you, the plumb line stays so, and you can use a, a broom handle or a cane. Right, or exactly. Something like that to keep Matter you fact, right. Take that sure. game. Because once you get to the point where you're doing your squats, you got your good posture, and you feel comfortable about it, one thing that really works well if you don't have someone to give you feedback is have a mirror. 
you know, a full body length mirror that you're looking at both directions yes. so you can see it. It made a big difference with this woman. Oh, huge difference. Yeah. And the other thing, are we going to talk about using the, the stick to, to show that you're doing back, correct? No. You're not going to do that? No, okay. I, I didn't want to. All right. But if you want to, we can. <laughs> <laughs> now they're going to be wondering, Brad. Just yeah, real quick. Okay, we'll do it. Okay, just well, real quick. Well, you do it on your shirt. Okay. Mine's blue. Yeah. So you can actually take again a broomstick or something or a booya stick. There you go. And if you want to make sure your back is staying straight and your body is in the line, turn this like way a little bit because your arm is in the yeah. way. You go ahead and line this up, and there should be three points of contact: the sacrum, the mid back, and the head. If they're all there, your body's a perfect body alignment. Yeah. If they're not, if you're like this, yeah. You're out of alignment. So you got to keep your back straight like yeah. this while you're doing that. And you do it a few times, and then you realize you're do doing it. Do some more, Bob. Because while you're doing that, then you also want to make sure that your <laughs> knee doesn't go past there and your knees lined up here. We went through all the mechanics of the squat just you know, like that. You know, just telling my wife recently she had hurt her back, and, and, and I told her to pretend like this, the booyah stick is on her back. Yeah. And that alone was enough. You know, I mean, that visualization sure. helped her realize – I just pretend like the, it's on my back, she goes, and I keep my back straight. And it, it worked well for her. Really? You have a really cynical look on your face. Like, you don't believe me. Uh, I don't know what to say. But... <laughs> okay, well, next one, Brad. What okay. are we doing? Oops. You want to move your chair out of the way, please? Sure. We're, now, let's assume you're done with that. You feel comfortable doing your squats. You don't need a chair. Your balance is good. You're at that level. Well, then we're going to increase the, the intensity a little bit without going out and buying uh, barbells and all that kind of thing. You're sure. probably not ready for that. Do you want to? Sure. Yeah, I want the booyah stick. Okay. <laughs> so it, you can take a cane, you can take a broomstick, you can take the booyah stick, uh, put it out straight in front of your shoulders and do the same thing. And you, you'll find out if you do 10 of them without this, you know, and it's easy. And if you do this, you're going to find it. It's a little bit harder. It it's challenges it's working your, your core a little bit more yeah. too. It challenges your balance yeah. as well. Uh, so make sure you do 10 good ones. And if that gets too easy, simply go over the top of your head and then try them. Now you're working on your posture a lot. It's, yeah. it's realigning your spine a little bit. It changes. It yeah. changes how the muscles work. You're going to find out it's a lot harder. You know, it's still not like putting, you know, 100 pounds on your, on your back like this. But it's, you know... A big difference from what we were doing, and Reach then we're going to the like sky. A... So you're really Stand working. Stand on tippy. Why, Bob? <laughs> Why? Okay. All right. Now, after you get your mechanics and everything good that way, then we're going to add some weight. Sure. And we're going to use. You could use, you know, like this. We got a five-pound dumbbell. If you got a kettlebell laying around. If you're more of a man, <laughs> thirty yeah. pounds. Yeah, take the fifty-pound one, Bob. There you go. And, you know, we're just going to hold some weight, whatever it may be. Five or ten pounds could be enough to get started because you'll notice that it makes a big difference. Again, the posture, everything's the same, and we'll do the squat. And we'll do ten again. And as you can tell, I'm not squatting that low. I don't have that much well, range in my hips. He's got dress pants on. so There we go. That's what it is. <laughs> it does make a difference. You know, he's got to go to work after this. Yeah, we don't have right. time for all this stuff. So... You did your workout at home already, right? I did. I yeah. ran this morning. So do that. And, you know, at that point, if you really want to get into squats with heavier weights, you know, then you'll probably have to go to the barbell. Right. And uh, then you need equipment. Right. And that's uh, so, a whole different animal, too. Right. But, but this is for the average person who just wants to add some strength right. to their life. And you'll be so. amazed what you can do with this, uh, when you do them properly with uh, some simple equipment like this. Yeah. And then, you know, it's going to translate into your life. You're going to be able to use it in your life when you go to, go to pick up your kid. Sure. Or, you know, pick up the garbage. Right. You're, you're going to squat just like you normally did. And you're going to be so much, you're protecting your back while you're doing it. And you're just going to do everything so much better. Yeah, it, it's a it's a wonderful it's a wonderful thing. This it's squad. a wonderful life. <laughs> All, All right, right, Bob. Thanks everybody for watching. <laughs>